Behind the Sections is the story of how Seven Signs got made. We sent six filmmakers on six different types of adventures to create a single surf travel film. This is their story. Asher's a super cool surfer. He's got uh, pretty much everything on lockdown. He can ride a shortboard, he can ride a twin fin, and then he pulled out uh, an alaya for this fun little session right on these, uh, this little right point break right on the rocks. And um, he was killing it on the thing. He was getting so much speed, it was, it was strange. I, I didn't think he could you know, make sections that he was going to make and um, he got a couple little barrels on it, he was doing frontside hacks and yeah, it was a pretty, pretty sick little session. Hold on, hold on. I haven't even explained where we are yet, have I? Well, I guess it doesn't even matter. This trip was about getting a bit lost. They are where they are. Pete and Asher are good like that. We stayed in this cabin, um, kind of on this farm in the, in the woods in the middle of nowhere. Kind of tucked in in the woods. It had an old wood stove. It was uh, really rustic and a super cool place. And that was kind of our base camp. I reckon if it was blowing hard offshore, oh. it would be doing its thing on top. Sometimes it's uh, it's best just to get out there. If you see a few, get out there. It can improve, can get worse, but at least you're giving it a crack. And you never know, you might just get that good wave that you've been waiting for. Um, this one spot we went to was basically like a mini amphitheater uh, with backdrop and these giant cliffs pretty much everywhere. It was one of the most kind of photogenic places I've ever surfed, I think. And to get to the water, you had to walk through a cave that on the high tide would be full of water and on the low tide you could get through. And so, yeah, you cruise through this cave and come out to this fun little beachy with uh, these right-hand wedges everywhere. And it's a pretty cool spot. We surf there by ourselves. 